Hey, we're live. There's Vicky, Vicky. Hello. First one there. Look at our daffodil. That looks like it's been made out of material. It's so it's beautiful. It's so exquisitely, exquisitely perfect. How can colours be divided so neatly in nature? Come and see Chi Chi. Come and see Chi Chi. <laughs> you look very uncertain. Oh, she's guarding her esophagus. No esophagus. <laughs> she's learnt from the master, Toffee. So today we are going to be cooking a good old fashioned favourite coconut. Pyramids. Did you ever make coconut macaroons or coconut pyramids? I think we did make something like that at school, but I've never been a fan of coconut. Yeah. Mm. It's weird that I love coconut. By the way, if you're just watching this now and you're not watching it live, you can just scroll forward to the recipe. We're just having a bit of a chat now while the audience, while our audience comes in. But feel free to just zoom past. Probably zoom to about the two minutes in. You're one minute in now. Zoom another minute. Zoom we'll another minute, and we'll be cooking. Is it easy to make this? It's really easy. So, um, oh, Francoise Kanzulu Kanzuli loves coconut. Hi, Jessamine Sol. Hi, Oliver Masterson. Can I get a shout out for my neighbour who's isolated on her? What's her name? Send her a name. And we'll do a nice shout out. For I her. hate coconut too, Marcus Maximus. Oh, I love it. Hiya, hello guys, hi, hi, hi. That doesn't mean to say I won't eat them all. I, I was going to say, I bet you anything. Fast forward even to tonight, when, you make stuff when in... I'm going, where's the coconut yeah, yeah, pyramid? No, no, and I'll he's do, going... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, tell us the list of ingredients on, we need. There are cherries on top as well. What are the list of ingredients we need? Okay, so you would need... So whilst everyone's getting there... 115 grams of coconut. 50 grams of caster sugar one egg and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and about six or seven glacé cherries. But you don't have to put the cherries on if you don't like. So let me just give you those list of ingredients again. Uh, 115 grams of coconut. Right. Uh, 50 grams of caster sugar. Hang on, just do this. Yeah. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yeah. One egg. Some glacé cherries if you like glacé cherry. <laughs> I, love gla I love glacé cherries. Do you love glacé cherry? I used to love the really green ones you'd get in cocktails. Mm. Yeah. So who's joining us? Give us some names. Any kids with us that we can shout out their name and their Shout page. out please. Georgina Cadwell. Georgina Cadwell. Hello. Uh, Serian or Kerian Reese, can I put raisins in it? Yes. Can I just say? Thanks for asking the question. I would have undoubtedly <laughs> asked at some point. I bet you anything she was asking. Oh, Janet Smith says that Harry, aged 14, is watching. Hi, Harry. How you doing? Harry, you can whisk these up really quickly. Like, the next time it's the middle of the night and you really want something sweet. Sophia, who's four years old, says Heather Gunn. Hi, Sophia. Uh, oh, that's that name. Do you know, I wanted, when I had a baby, to call my baby Sophia always when I was growing up. Because I loved Sophia Loren, the actress. Uh, shout out to Joe Wright in Denver, please. Hi, Joe Wright. How are you? Shout out Mrs. Laurel. Laurel Mrs. Nichols. Laurel. Hello. Hello. Laura, 33 and a half, watching from Chesterfield. 33 and a half? Yeah, she's, she's young. <laughs> 33 and some 40. Tina Jennings, 81. Shout out to Chloe and Corey, who are 10 and 8. Chloe and Corey, hiya. Oh, you joined us last week as well, didn't you? Hey. Nice to see you. Tell all your friends to join us. Hazel Kinvig Paul, I'm not seeing that name often. Third live I've managed to catch. Silver lining to quarantine is Woo this. It's nice, isn't it? That you're the silver lining, babe. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's get going. Okay, so just, Mark, can just, you remember what the amount of coconut was? 150 grams. No. 75. No. Nope. 120. Can any of you remember? See if anyone else can remember. Help me. Guys, what did I say? help me out. How much was it? How many grams of coconut? What was it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, does anyone know? Oh, 115 grams of coconut. Yes! Thanks, Zoe. Brilliant. Um, and how much um, vanilla extract? Who can remember? Not Mark. Oh. Who can remember? Anyone come up with it? Not yet, no, not yet. Who's Everyone's still having a crack at the old... Uh... Don't worry if you haven't got vanilla extract. Scratch. You don't have to put it in, but I think it adds a nice little flavour. Okay, still waiting for people to come through. I think they're probably all scrolling back to have a look. A teaspoon. No. Half a teaspoon. Yes. 
Ellie Watts. Wait, sorry, Ellie Watts. Half a teaspoon. Let's have a look. Look, isn't that the sweetest? What does that say, Mark? My. <laughs> My. My. Oatmeal spoon. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so this is a teeny little spoon. It's for using in board eggs. James Flanagan, <laughs> shout out. James Flanagan, shout out. Can anyone remember what another ingredient was? So we've got the coconut, we've got the vanilla extract. What else? Shout out. Cherries, but not yet. Huh. Next thing is... Caster sugar. 50 grams of caster sugar. And it goes... This is all very organised. You've got it all pre-measured. I always have it pre-measured. Oh, Christ. You don't strike me. Hang on a minute, guys. Does she strike you as a kind of pre-measured sort of girl? Hey? Does she? I'm not going to swear. I'm in total control Mark. of the fact. Stop. If you don't stop, Mark. I will say bum bum. Mark. Well, I just thought something. Don't show anyone yet. Oh, what? This egg? No, hang on. Don't show them what? This? Do Your tea. Don't show them the, da the daffodil. No, right don't show right. them the cherries. Right. So, water. The next thing oh. we need to do is an egg. Yep. Right? Just tap, 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 tap on the side. Do that again, that's almost a song. Tap, tap, tap on the side. Tap, tap, tap again. Hmm. And you put your thumb. Now, what a lot of, the mistake that a lot of people make is they dig their yes. thumbs in really hard or they're too nervous and they don't quite. Yeah. So you've got to sure. get somewhere in between. I'm not digging right in, yeah. just gently. God, I didn't know there was such finesse to opening an egg. Well, if you've never opened an egg before, you actually don't know how to open an egg. Well, it's so, true. It's know. like, I've got something else. If you've never walked through a door before, you don't know how to walk through a door, do you, kids? Oh, God. I hope you're all scratching your cheeks again. I'm so sorry. Scratch so your cheeks. Um, so... You just whisk that. And stir it in. Pour Ooh. it in. Then... We just stir it up. Is that it? That There's is no flour in it. How you make a coconut marafarine. So it's gluten free if people can't have gluten. Lisa Marie on. Hunt says just crack it on the side of the bowl or use a butter knife. Yeah. You With your egg. Yeah. So. Katie K is watching this while sunbathing. Are you? Where, where are you, Katie K? I'm going to ask her is directly. A minute? Katie K, are you like that? <laughs> you like that? Okay, so. There we go. So mm. simple, Lucy. You're right, so simple. Ridiculously simple. <laughs> Ashley Gardner does his eggs by dropping them on the floor. Uh -huh. Actually, that's not clever. What was this? So just wet Ooh. your, can anyone guess why you would want to wet your um, egg cup that's going to have the filling in? Do you want me to guess? Yeah. So it doesn't stick? Yeah. Boom. So you put your, put your um, filling in. I'm Rosalie and I'm eight. Say hello to Hi, Rosalie. Rosalie. You like coconut macaroons? If you don't, you can make it for somebody that does. So just flatten them down, push it down. Seven-year-old Zohar is watching. Hi, Zohar. Welcome. Ooh. If you if you're late, you can go back because <gasps> this film will be it's posted. It's perfect. Yeah. Sarah Bates is new to the channel. What do you have to say to her? Hi, Sarah Bates. You're welcome. You're and welcome. don't forget everything else that we've already cooked on the cooking. Uh, lessons is all up, are all uploaded on the channel, so you can go back and have a go at the pizza and the mama's oh, spaghetti. Oh, that's magical! And the rock cakes. It's like building sand, actually. Kerry and oh, Reese. Kerry and Reese. Idea to dip your. Dip Kerry and I think I said it both ways. Which way is the correct way? It's Kerry. Could so you that, add? Could you add chocolate? Orange jams is asking. I wouldn't add too many things. I tell you why. Mm -hmm. Because it might break up. I wouldn't add too many things. Right. You know what I would do if you wanted chocolate, and this would be gorgeous, yeah, go once on. they're cooked. I know, I know. Dip them in chocolate. Should we do that? Should we melt That's a cracking idea. Let's melt Faith Goodman says these are like sand castles. Exactly. You're so right. They're so much fun to make. They're like flaky sand castles. So every second... Um, we Shout out James Flanagan. With it. Hi James Flanagan. We should. And then make lots of little ones. Hang on, I've got to. I'm so, so, so excited. I've got to cross my legs. Mark, stop being an idiot. Well, you know when you get that thing when you're really oh, excited and you need okay. to cross your legs because you're worried you're going to weep. Mark! Oh my God. 
<laughs> now, baking paper would be better, but unfortunately I've run out of baking paper. Four-year-old Jack is watching. Hi, Jack. That's where you have to be very good, Mark. Me and all four-year-olds, we know about Jack, these things. Mark is very, very naughty. So if he does something naughty, don't copy him. Isn't this just so cute? It's so satisfying. I yeah. want to do it. It's so, yeah, you do one. No, it's all right. Oh, on, oh thanks. It's going to cost me a Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Got Make sure you flatten it. Okay. There you go. Oh, don't break it! Don't come out. Oh, Mark, 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 don't make a mess. Okay, go, go. It's because you put too go. much in. Because you didn't water it. Yeah, I'll take it back. What didn't he do, everybody? Everybody else knew what he was supposed to do. What didn't he do? He didn't dip it in the water, which stops it sticking. Can my niece Isabella get a shout out, please? Isabella! She's seven. Isabella! Darren, so. Darren boy. Oh, no, it made it look so easy. It will come out. So mm. then they go into the oven Ooh. at 180 degrees for between 15 and 20 minutes. So when a recipe says, between 15 and 20 minutes, what I would do is set it for 20 minutes and have a look at it at 15. They're a bit smaller than they usually make, so they're probably gonna be ready at 15. And you just want them to be just a bit biscuity. Well, I'll, sh okay. in color, I'll show you now. All right, how they can, you do the, can you do the uh, coconut pyramid dance, please? No. Please? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you've got it all in your mouth. Can you say hello? Jack Piggott says, can you say hello to 12-year-old Caitlin, please? She says hello. Hello, Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. How are you doing, sweetie? Caitlin says hi to us. Caitlin, have a go at the pizza, the mum's spaghetti, the rock cakes, and the biscuits. Have you got um, some you made earlier? I think I've got about five lessons already up. Yeah, I have. Oh, brilliant. Oh. So, we're going to put cherries on, but actually... That was a really good idea. I think Ram Jam's had the chocolate. I've forgotten about that. Oh, look. That's the colour you want them. Oh, they look gorgeous. Can I hold? No, not yet. Oh. So if you wanted to, you could melt some chocolate, put it on and then just dip it up to there. So you've got chocolate and then turn it Oh my God, do you know what they'd look like? You turn on. it upside down and let it dry. Can I just say, do you know what they'd look like, guys? They'd look like the ghosts in the arcade game Pac-Man. Mm. They would, with the, the little bits at the bottom. The other thing you could do is, you could drizzle chocolate over the top, <gasps> but what we're going to do is, because I really love a traditional... I love a cherry. ...coconut macaroon oh. with a cherry on See, the top. See, really, I tolerate the coconut to get to the blessed so, cherry. So there's the, there's the hole. So where yeah. the, that's the way you cut it, that way, not that way, that way. One of them and a glorious cup of coffee, James Flanagan's and of course, saying. Always make sure oh, yes. that you wash your hands before you cook. Always make sure your parents are okay with you using the oven. Alison53, hello. Oh my God, I want one of these so badly. So do I with a coffee. Can you dip them in tea? Well, I think they might. Just need to Should oh. I have one, kids? Yeah. Good. Mm. Is that good? Okay. Mine from my childhood. I don't like coconut. Mm. So I'm going to try one. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, my God, nice. I really like coconut. Really nice. They're really, really nice. Easy, aren't they? I like the cherry. Only 15 minutes in the oven. And as I say, drizzle chocolate on the top if you want, or dip them up the bottoms. If you don't like coconut, these are brilliant. Mm. Really nice. Mm. Oh, well, do you want to say farewell? Mm. People asking if Loose Women's back next week. Who knows? <laughs>